Hello and thank you for viewing. This video is almost a throwback, and I do have a link to footage without time lapses which can be found in the description. All the time lapses here are to save you time, because you know a lot of this is jibber jabbering or me running around. We don't need to waste time on that. But I'm in Benedict Point talking to Hector, picking up an on the hunt mission. As you come into the mission area, there's going to be a vulture at the first clue. Okay, now this run, what I'm attempting is to complete it as fast as possible. You can see at the top I put in 6 minutes and 22 seconds. I earned 0.32 gold bars, 19.79 and $4 or 468 XP. Now that transitions over to over 3 gold bars per hour, only $186 per hour but 4400 XP per hour, which is pretty spectacular. Prior to RDR2 coming out of beta, we could not achieve these gold bar earnings by just quickly running through these missions. In order to get 0.32 gold bar, it would take you like a half hour. So you would end up getting, you know, like 0.5 to 0.8 gold per hour by running stranger missions back to back. But now we can actually hit them as fast as we can if we want to farm gold. You take a hit on the amount of money and XP, but that's okay if all you want to do is farm gold. This is the way to do it. And actually, you're not taking a hit on XP. I'm sorry, I misspoke there. And I don't even know how much... You're, yeah, you're taking a hit on money. You're not going to make probably like 200 bucks an hour unless you're doing other things to supplement it, like collecting feathers. And I have another video of another hunt where I talk to Hector and I get the cougar mission. That video is coming out next. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already so you don't miss the next video. Because I'm telling you what, the next video is going to be pretty mind-blowing. As I'm heading out to the other hunt location, I down all sorts of crazy amounts of birds. I actually loot a treasure map. I get, you know, crazy gold in the treasure. It ends up being a really incredible hunt. I haven't ran the numbers yet, but I think that's going to be a real impressive return as well. Now you can see I've examine the three clues and once you do that the wolves will spawn now the black one he takes a lot of damage you're gonna have to headshot him at least twice unless you use a poison arrow or an explosive round or know something i don't my experience without an explosive arrow or explosive round or you know something explosive i guess an explosive arrow would work too but that's going kind of far you know it's gonna it's gonna take two shots so as you can see six minutes 22 seconds is the whole run of this footage. I'm going to run to the butcher too in order to sell this vulture and feathers so I can include that in the run. If you don't include the run from Benedict Point to the butcher, then you're making even more than 3.02 gold bars per hour because this is, you know, a whole bunch of time where I'm only getting a cash return out of running to the butcher. I'm not getting an XP or gold bar return like as if I was running into another stranger mission and however you're you're gonna have to run to another stranger mission anyways and there's another stranger right there in tumbleweed you can talk to him pick up another mission just you know make yourself all, all over the map hitting these missions as fast as you can thanks for viewing subscribing thumbs up and sharing especially hitting that join i'll catch you all next time until then happy hunting and happy trails